I will be hanging my phone into the tripod now. So yes, you guys are able to see it properly, right? Okay. Yes, Ashwini, uh, this, this is from Amazon only and you can find it on local market as well. Okay. These are for like 20, 30 rupees. So I'm just using it just to practice the knots. No, I'm not making a full product today. Okay. Just a knot. So I'm using this thread. This is a macrame cord. This is called a one string macrame cord. It can be unbinded so easily like this. This. Okay. So I already cut some of the cords. Like this, I already, there is no specific measurement. I just cut it randomly. So first of all, we will be starting with the, our very first knot. I'll give you the name, okay? So first of all, we are the large head knot. This is called the large head knot. This is okay, guys. Can you see it properly? Okay. So the first knot is called the large head knot, okay? So whenever you're starting any project, any, any kind of project, you need to bind your cord to some specific a hoop or a stick or somewhere, right? Then this large head knot is come into the place. Uh, Jayan, Jayavati, right? Jayavanti. So is it not clear? You can unmute yourself and let me know. Okay. So this is the cord I cut it out from the... The video is lagging, it seems. Is it blur or it's just... Guys, you can unmute yourself and let me know. I will not be able to understand. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So I cut out this little piece of cord. So I will be joining it with a large head knot to the hoop. Okay. So fold it into half. Fold it into half like this, the cord, okay? Fold it into half. Then you need to hold this loop like this. Then on the hoop, you need to pass the hoop, pass the cord on the hoop like this, like this. There will be a little loop left. And then the other two ends, you need to pass it through the hoop like this. And it will tie, it will tie on the knot like this, okay? Let me just zoom in once, okay? Just a minute, guys. Okay. So I'm taking one more cord like this. Fold it into half like this. Then take the hoop and pass this loop like this, like this. You have to hold the cord like this, okay? Then the other two ends, it will pass through from this loop like this. And just tighten it. It will stick to your hoop nicely. This is the way how you join a cord to anywhere, any surface you are using. It, if it's a round, you know, um, maybe a stick, maybe uh, you're making a dream catcher, a keychain, anywhere you're sticking a 
called, you need to do this only, okay? So this is called the large head knot. So you can join as many as cords as you can in the hoop or whatever you are using, okay? So this is the first knot. So there is one more knot, which is called the reverse large head knot, which is not that important, but sometimes we use it in you know some of the products as well. So in this case, you need to start it from the behind like this, like this. And same, same as the, you need to pass this and through this loop. So this reverse large head knot is little bit different from the large head knot. Can you see this cord? This is in the front, okay? In this case, it's not here, okay? It's in the other side. So this is called reverse large head knot, okay? This is the reverse one and this is the large head knot. So to do the large head knot, you need to, you know, start it from the front. The hoop will be in the uh, backward of your cords, and then you need to put it, you know, in the. Okay, Ashwini. Okay, I'll do. I'm doing it again. Okay. So this is the hoop, and uh, you will, you know, bind your hoop with the cord like this. You know, can you see this? like this and you will be left with a little loop here this one then this two end of your cord you pass through this loop like this and just tighten it and it's done okay here so like this you can join as many as cord you want here so this is called the large head knot our very first knot then we come to our second knot. The second knot is the square knot. The square knot. Yeah. Um, hi, Kalal. Okay. Uh, there is no specific measurement just for the, you know, demo class purpose. I just cut the uh you know cut a cord randomly there is no specific measurement just for practice session okay so yes now we are going to do the square knot how to do the square knot is for a square knot you need four cords here we need four of them four of them so to do the so square knot is the most important knots in macrame. You know, you make anything, the square knot is important anywhere. Okay. So to make the square knot, take the very first chord, this one. This and you make a like a L shape, like this. Like this L shape. Okay. And the last chord, the fourth chord, you place it like this, okay? Then this end, the fourth chord, will go from behind this to other chords, like this, and pass through the loop, like this, and just tighten it. like this, okay? This is the first step. The second step will be, it will be the same. Use this fourth chord, make a L shape, is the like the reverse L shape, like this. And this first chord will come in the front first, then go from behind and pass through the loop. Again, tighten it. like this. So can you see this? This is called a square knot. Okay. So this is very, very important in macrame. This will be the most used knot in macrame. Okay. If you know this, you can master in this knot. You can, you will be able, able to make like anything. Okay. Okay, Kalal. Uh, so I bought this. This is 100 meters cord. Okay, this is 100 meters. I got it from Amazon. 
So yes, the square knot, I'm doing two, three more uh, like square knots here. So take the very first chord, make an L shape like this, like this. The fourth chord will go in the front first. The first chord will be in the behind, okay? Then this last chord will go from behind this chords like this and pass through this loop like this and tighten it. Tighten it, okay? This is the first step. And on the second step, you will make an L shape with the last chord. And the first one will go from the front first and then go from behind like this and just tighten it, okay? Sorry, like this, okay? Here you go. So, um, which not to use, it's totally up to you. It's like macrame is so uh, versatile that you can use anything and you, it will look good anyway, okay? So if you're starting doing macrame and uh, if you're like, you know, uh, doing it for like quite a long time, you will be able to see a design and you will be able to know that what knot that is, okay? So yes. So if you uh, keep doing the square knots, you, it will make a uh, rope kind of thingy. I'll show you. Like this. Can you able to see it guys? Okay, so this is the square knot. So next step, we will be going to the alternate square knots, okay? That's called the alternate square knots. Uh, so Ashwini, okay, yarn, maybe you can take, uh, okay, I'll tell you. Maybe 15 centimeters, 50, 30 centimeters will be fine. 15 to 30 centimeters will be fine, yeah. So yes, now we are doing the alternate square knot, okay? So I will be joining two, three more cords here. There is one already. I'll be joining two, three cords again with the large head knot. Am I going too fast, guys? Okay. So alternate square knot is used when you have to make a net kind of a thingy okay like a net well uh, like if you're making a big project if you're making a big uh yes you can leave it like this puja you can leave it like this it will uh it will not loosen up you know if you're making something like this you can uh, keep it like this cut it in a cut it from the behind and uh, it will be fine okay It's very tight and it won't open anyway, okay? So now we are making an alternate square knot. So when you are making a big project or something, uh, you know, very big, you cannot use so many cords, right? So that's when you, uh, you know, do a alternate square knot. So for a square knot, you need four, four cords anyway. So I have three, so I'm joining one more. So these two cord, now you have to take two cords from this team and two cords from here. 
and you will make a square knot here. The process is same, the square knot process is same. Make an L shape with the very first chord like this. And the last chord will go from behind like this and pass through the loop like this. Now you cannot tighten it like very much, okay? You have to be careful here like this. You have to be really, really gentle here, okay? Then again, use a fourth chord, make an L shape like this. Then this chord will go from behind and tighten it. Like this. So this is called an alternate square knot. If you're joining one, two, three more chords here, then you keep making it. It will make a net, okay? It will be uh, look like a net, okay? I'll show you one more step. Joining two more chords here. Here. Now take these two chords, which is left behind, and uh, two chords from this one here, and make a square knot here. Again, you have to make an L shape like this. And the last chord go from behind and pass through the loop like this. So you need to take, you need to, you know, uh, measure the distance first. This one is this much. And again, you have to make a square knot here, okay? That way it will look good. Like this. Again, you can make one more square knot using this two on the middle here. So it will as a, it will become a net if you keep making it. Okay. So the key point here is the distance between the each knot should be same. That way, it will look amazing, okay? Here you go. And you can keep doing it. You can make one square knot here. You can make one square knot here. Then again, you can join two, three more chords, then keep doing it, okay? So this is called the alternate square knot. Now, our next fourth knot will be the spiral knot. The spiral knot, okay? Here. So again, I'm joining one more chord. Again, we need uh, four chords for the spiral knot. This is more like square knot. A little bit of difference is there. So first step is the same. Take the first chord, make it L shape like this. Okay. And the last chord like this, come in the front first. Then go from behind and pass through this loop and tighten it. The first step is same like square knot. Okay. So what do we do in square knot you is we use this chord, right? So now we are doing the same chord, making L shape with the same uh, same chord. Okay. So we will keep doing it using the 
same chord again and again. So what will happen is, can you see this? It will form a spiral like this. I'll be doing two, three more rows. Okay, here, can you see this? It will start, you know, turning like this. This is called the spiral knot. So this time it's turning on the right hand side. If you start making it with this uh, fourth chord and doing the same, it will turn on the other side, okay? So this, this is called the spiral knot. Now come to the, our fifth knot, which is called the hip knot. Hitch knot, okay. So again, we will be needing some of the cords. Let me cut some of the cords. Okay, so again, we are joining with the large head knot here. So hitch knot is used when you have to make a boundary or a border to something, you know, uh, like for example, I'll show you. Uh, can you see this bag? So there is this line here. Can you see this? Yeah, this line. This line here. So this is called the hitch knot. This is made from hitch knot, okay? So join like three, four chords here. Now, if you have to make the hitch knot in a slanting way, okay? So take the very first chord and keep it in a slanting way like this, okay? Then take the other chords, take the second chord and start wrapping this chord like this. Wrap it around, okay? And tighten. Tighten. Again, one more time, wrap the cord and tighten like this. Then one by one, take the next cord, wrap this cord around like this and tighten. Wrap it once again and tighten, okay? Can you see this? So keep doing it. Like this. 
it will form a border or it will form a straight line like this. Okay. Then if you have to, you know, make a heart shape or I can see a triangle shape with a hitch knot, then you can use this cord again. Keep it in a slanting way and keep wrapping this cord with the other cords, okay? Bind the cord like this and tighten. Again, bind it like this and tighten. Use the next cord, bind it and tighten. It will form a triangle like this. You need to do it once more. Here. And here, okay? So you can give uh, any kind of shape with this hitch knot. If you're going to do a hard shape also, it will, you know, uh, it will be able to make it through the hitch knots, okay? Can you guys able to make it? Here. Clear, guys? Understanding? Okay. So the next knot will be the horizontal large head knot. Okay. Uh, hi, Vashuda. This, yes. Here. Able to see it? Okay. So this is the horizontal large head knot. This is more like the large head knot. Just a minute, I need more cards. Okay. So again, join the cards with an large head knot here. Now, this is more like the alternate square knot, which we did here, this one. This is more like the alternate square knot, but this is used when we have to make a, you know, a larger net kind of a thing. Like this. This is a bit difficult to understand maybe. So let me know if you are able to understand or not. So take this cord, this two cord, okay, middle cords. Now, this cord will place it behind this cord, like this, okay? Then pass it through here, here. Okay. It will form a K-like structure, okay? Here, like this, it will form a K. Now, we have to do is place it like B, like a B. Then pass it through this. And just tighten it. Like this. It looks like the square knot, but this, the method of making it is a bit different, okay? So I'm joining one more part. Here. 
here. So use this one. So at first, go like this. This cord should be on behind this cord. Then pass through this. It will be like a mirror image of a K. Then make a form a B like this. And this pass through this loop like this. Okay. So this is called the horizontal large head knot. Okay. This is more like the alternate square knot, but it will consume a uh, less amount of parts for you. Okay. You can make one more here, one more here like this. Just a minute. One more with this cord to this one. Okay. Here, like this. Okay. So the next knot will be our berry knot. This is called the berry knot. This is called the berry knot. Okay. So berry knot is this one. Can you see this one? Little bump kind of structure. This is called a berry knot. Okay, this is, uh, you know, it looks attractive when you make it on a maybe wall hanger, keychain, anywhere. It looks uh, really amazing, a little pretty. Okay, so just a minute. Okay. So joining two more chords here. Guys, you will be able to understand, right? Okay. So I join two of the chords here. Again, we have to make two, three square knots here. Okay. Just as I told you, square knots is everywhere. You need to master on the square knots first. So make an L shape. Then this chord will go from behind pass through the loop and tighten the first step of square knot, okay? Again, this next, next step. Like this. So we have to make two, three square knots here. So I made only two, and there will be a little gap here. Here, okay? So the middle cords, these two cord, we need to bind them together somehow. You can put a cello tape over here if you find it difficult. And you have to pass through this cord, through this gap, okay? Okay, uh, I will I will tell you later on, okay, about the one ply and three ply chords. Okay, I'll show you once more, Vashudha. So, till here you are uh, able to understand, right? This is just the square knots. Okay, the square knots we are making. I'm doing it from the top. So first attach this cord with a large head knot. Okay. Then we have to make a square knot. To make a square knot, what we have to do is take the very first cord, this one, and the last cord like this. Now we have to make a L shape like this. Okay. Then this fourth chord, first bring the fourth chord on the top of this chord, first chord. Okay. Then take the chord from behind this two chord like this and pass through this loop. 
like this and just tighten it. Tighten it. Don't like tighten it too much because we need this gap. Then take this other cord like this and uh, place this cord on the top. Then take it from behind and pass through the loop and tighten. This is our square knot, okay? So make square knot two, three square knots here. Here, L shape. Then this cord will go from behind like this and pass through. Like this. So even uh, if you need a bigger berry knot, you know, if you're doing more square knots, the bump, the berry knot, will be, you know, uh, it will be the bump will be bigger. Okay, this knot. So now what we have to do is, I did two square knots here. Now take this middle cords, Combine it together like this. You can put a cello tape over here if you're not being able to pass it through the loop. Then between these two cords here, there'll be a little gap. Yes, yes, I will be showing it. So pass through this cord over here. Okay. over here, it will form a bump-like structure, okay? So now to secure it, make one more square knot over here with this two outer cords. Make one more square knot here. So I will be giving you like, you know, in a detail, uh, detailed manner, how to use it, where to use it on our masterclass, which will be holding on uh, 26th and 27th, okay? There will be a longer class. I will be teaching you on detail, like how to use it and how to make a poster using the same, how to make a wall hanging, maybe. Uh, so you, can, you guys can join me on 26th and 27th. Uh, that will be a two hours class and I will, I can, I'll be able to show you on detail with how we can use it. Okay. So this will be a berry knot. Can you see this? It will be a little bump. If you make two, three more square knots, the bump will be bigger. Like this. Here. So now we have our last knot left, which is the long barrel knot. So long barrel knot, okay? Long barrel knot. So whenever you are making a plant hanger or a basket, you need to, you know, make a basket like a structure so that you, uh, whenever you put a pot in there, it won't fall, okay? So what you have to do is, so take this cords, combine it together like this, okay? Then take a small piece like this and make a U shape here, like this, okay? U shape. And then this cord, one end should be longer. Then tie all the cords together like this. All the cords together. Like this. And this end, you pass it through the loop. Pass it through the loop and both the end, just 
pull it okay just pull it so this is how you can tie the all the cords you can just cut this ends here so on the master class i will be making a plant hanger this knot will be used there okay so you guys can join me on 26th and 27th whenever you are free so and then i will be able to teach you on the details matter so you can you guys can take a screenshot of this all the knots these are the very best basic and these are the most important knots of the you know uh, macrame okay mm. just a minute mm. Yes, so hello everyone. Did you all enjoy the class? Can I quickly get some reactions from you all? How was it for everyone? Quickly some reactions, guys. Isn't it, isn't, wasn't it a very fun class, guys? In the first class itself, we have learned so many things, right? So quickly, can I get some reactions from everyone? Great. So how many of you are interested to see, ma'am had been mentioning about the master class. So how many of you are interested to see what we are going to learn in the master class? I quit, quickly want some me in the chat box, then I'll be telling you guys about what, I'll be showing you guys what we'll be learning in the master class. Quickly some me in the chat box, guys, quickly. Also, there's a surprise waiting for you all. So quickly, how many of you? Great, great. Amazing. So I'll just quickly share my screen now. And guys, while I'm showing it to you all, I want a amazing amount of reactions in the chat box okay so ma'am could you please explain them what we are going to learn in the master class while i show it to them okay sure so this is a, a hanger wall hanger so here we will be using all the knots we are uh, we learned today the barrel knot the uh, spiral knot the square knot the everything the hitch knot and also there will be how to use a tassel in it, how to make a full uh, wall hanging, the full product I will be making on the masterclass itself, okay? So this will be a plant hanger. Here I will be using the no long barrel knot, also some square knots, and uh, this will be a plant hanger, okay? This will also be taught in the masterclass. So this will be a heart shaped coaster. This is a very popular macrame product right now. Uh, the all we can use is here is square knots and make a heart shaped uh, coaster. Yes, that's it. And this will be a coaster again, the using square knots itself. And uh, this will be the small products. And yes, that's it. Yes, so in the two days of workshop, we are going to learn four items in total, okay? It will be a two days of workshop, okay? So can I quickly get to know how many of you are interested to know about it? Quickly, I want responses from everyone, only then I'll be revealing an amazing surprise that you all have been waiting for. Okay, I want responses, good responses. If I don't get responses, I'm not going to reveal the surprise, guys. Come on, come on, come on, more, more reactions. How many of you are interested to know about it? Great, 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 amazing. So, uh, yes, so the master class of the advanced class in which we will be learning these beautiful items that we have just seen. It's starting from the 26th of April and will be happening till the 27th of April. That is 26th of April and 27th of April on Tuesday and Wednesday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. It will be a two hours of session each day that we'll be attending. And we'll be learning these items in one day. Like in one day, we'll be learning two items in total. Okay, in total, there will be... Uh, uh, two days of master class that is four hours uh, in total and as you know it's a very practical based class right so after learning these things you will be able to come up with your own imagination and you will be creating your own products once you know the drill about how to make tassels how to make wall hanging you will be coming up and improvising it and coming up with your own designs right so that time you might re 